bring a plate of hummus to a party, my friends become very impressed when they learn that I made it from scratch at home myself. Now, I always feel like laughing because making hummus at home is so easy, it hardly warrants being impressed at all. In fact, making hummus is so easy that once I show you how to make it, you will never ever buy it in a store ever again, plus homemade always tastes better. The trouble I get into is whenever I try to explain to somebody how to make hummus, I get into trouble because I don't use precise measurements. I just add a little bit of this, a little bit of that, I eye it and I know I'm finished when it looks right and it tastes right. Uh, a friend of mine accused me once that I deliberately give vague instructions because I don't want anyone else to learn how to make it. So this video is for you, you know who you are. Uh, so here we go. So to start with making hummus, you have to buy a bag of dry chickpeas at the grocery store. And people always ask me, well, can't I just buy the canned hummus? Yes, you can. However, it won't taste as good. So I'll put about half of this bag in here. And we pour like this. And normally I don't measure, but for your sake, I'll try to measure about how much. So I would say that's about two cups of dried hummus. And then I, I cover it oh, very well with cold water and you let it sit overnight. It has to sit overnight. <laughs> overnight they will expand and become much bigger in size and that's okay and I've taken the chickpeas and strained them from the soaking water and now I'm gonna put them in a very large pot and cover them with lots of cold water and then boil them for about an hour so I've set that on maximum and I will let the chickpeas boil for about an hour or until they're nice, uh, soft and, and mushy. So they've been boiled and if I hold one of them I can squish it between my fingers very easily because it's very well cooked. And this is too much chickpeas so I will take half of them and use them today and the other half I will freeze in one of these uh, freezer bags and use again in about two or three weeks when I want to make hummus again. So I will put my chickpeas in the blender, about half of the amount that I have here. Next, I will use tahini sauce, and tahini sauce is just a pressed sesame, uh, sesame seeds. And I will put about four spoons of this. done so I have a new jar here as you can see the oil rises to the top but that's okay because I'm gonna take the spoon and mix it all up and dig from below as you can see the hini sauce is very thick so it thickens everything up
just wipe my hands. Next, I have two cloves of garlic. You don't want too much garlic. It's not supposed to taste garlicky. I have squeezed three lemons here. I'm going to pour that in. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. A little bit of cumin. And a little bit of olive oil, just a tiny bit. Now comes the noisy part. I'm going to blend it all together. Because my blender is old and doesn't work so well, I have to do strange things to make it work. Hopefully your blender is a little bit better. perfect but I always taste and see if maybe I can add some salt or add more lemon juice uh, I like hummus thick but some people like it uh, watery so you can add two tablespoons of water <laughs> and now comes the fun part which is serving and decorating the hummus so I will take few tablespoons of hummus and put it in a relatively flat plate. Now we'll spread it on the plate, make a groove in the middle, all around like this. That's so that the olive oil can be in there. And I only use extra virgin olive oil. Now we'll pour some olive oil in the groove all around. Not too much. I will decorate with a little bit of parsley. And I will sprinkle a bit of cumin just to make it look good. And some people like to put paprika. And that's it. Our hummus is ready to serve. <laughs>